So you feel motivated to read. You got your book ready and you put your phone away. But when you sit down to read, you just look focused and start daydreaming. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be giving you 10 study tips that will help you stay focused when reading and stop you from daydreaming and actually get work done. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Getting butterfly here. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say that this video sounds really costly. It's not the best quality. Um, I was really tired the day I made it, so it just manages. I'm sorry. One, train yourself to study for a long period of time. In this tip, I'm going to show you what I call the time management strategy. If you know you can't study for a long period of time, this will help you a lot. So, study in bits. If you know you can always study for one hour, study for one hour five minutes and every day you had five minutes more or ten minutes more this will make your brain not even notice that you're adding ten minutes or five minutes more to your normal study time and every day your study time will increase and then you'll be able to study for a very long period of time as in the quizzes you can also increase the duration you had every day you can change it to 20 minutes more every day or 30 minutes more every day I find interesting topic all subjects you are studying through even stories around them make realistic go if you're normally studying for one hour don't just say i'm going to study for three hours tomorrow and you know you can actually do it but then when you start studying you can't even concentrate because you have made a very unrealistic goal make realistic goal that you can actually achieve in time and don't push yourself too much convince yourself that you can pull it off this is the best trick trick your brain and convince yourself that you can actually pull it off even though you know you can't even though you know you are easily distracted and you can easily start daydreaming just convince yourself that you can do it and then it starts from the brain if you can convince your brain that you can do it you can convince your body to do it identifying the best time to study helps a lot i'm usually very focused when i just woke up so just find the time that you are very focused it might be in the night, you have more focused in the night or you can be more focused in the afternoon or in the morning. If you find that time, it will be more easier for you to study for a very long period of time. 2. Take breaks. Breaks helps a lot in focus. For example, if I don't take break and I've been studying for like 2 or 3 hours, I will feel headache and I will easily get distracted even though I'm looking at a book and not looking at some year hex. I wouldn't be able to understand what I'm reading. I will just look at the words and my brain wouldn't be able to process what I'm reading. So take break. You can just take small breaks. It could be 30 minutes, 15 minutes, but make sure you walk out of your study place and don't use your phone on breaks because when you use your phone, you get easily distracted and you just feel like you don't need to read again and you feel motivated to go back to studying which is not good because you, you already set a goal that you need to accomplish or achieve you can also exercise while taking a break or exercise right before you sit down to study after your break exercise is a great way to boost up your energy levels and exercise will make you active but make sure you avoid doing strenuous strength training theory write your thoughts down when you're studying and you get distracted write your thoughts down if you're thinking about shopping a cool outfit that you saw tiktok a youtube video or even a movie you want to watch on netflix write it down on a note or a small paper so that after you're through with studying you can actually go and do those things you're thinking about because the reason why people think about things when doing something is because they don't want to forget about it. So by writing it down, you don't forget and actually get back to it when you get work done and you're, you're through with studying. 4. Film yourself while studying. I can't explain how nice this is because after studying, you get this aesthetic pleasing video of yourself studying and you feel very proud of yourself this is also a great way to keep yourself away from your phone because your phone is already recording you and you wouldn't be able to use it for anything else five create a distraction free study space i know you have seen those aesthetic 
decorations of study space and they're so pretty and so nice but this is not very good because when you're studying you don't even need your phone to get distracted because the decorations are just too much and they will easily keep you distracted so instead of keeping your decorations in the front and start daydreaming when you're actually supposed to read and get work done keep them beside you or behind you so that you can study and get work done and focus for a very long period of time six listening to music listening to music is a great way to enjoy studying and if you enjoy studying you will probably be able to study for a long period of time but avoid music with lyrics any music that has lyrics in a language you understand will probably be more distracting than helpful instead choose low lyrics free music seven sleep schedule please and please do not stay awake scrolling through instagram and tiktok and then the next day you wake up and say you want to read and then you fall asleep why studying please getting a good night's sleep helps you to focus when studying get at least eight hours of sleep so that when you sit down to study you're able to focus and study and actually get work done on time eight study in bed once you're able to focus for a very long period of time like i told you in the first step start finishing tasks before taking break in time management I explained in the first step involves taking a lot of breaks however school works take more than 15 or 20 minutes to complete so taking a lot of break can make you easily tired and not get work done on time so instead of taking breaks every 20 minutes focus on finishing a task before taking breaks like your biology assignment is a task so after finishing that one you take a break and then move on to your physics assignment which is another task and then take a break and then you move on to studying biology which is another task strategy will make things more easier nine don't do all nighters you will regret it i have this thing i used to do when i have a test the next day and i haven't read so well, i'll decide to do an all nighter and read all night and i will read for like 30 minutes i'll sleep for 30 minutes and then i wake up and that's how i'll do it the next morning when i get to the test or i won't be able to remember anything i read because i'm so tired and so stressed out and i slept in between my study hours so there was no way i'll be able to remember anything because i was so tired and i needed rest so please don't do online tasks instead of that let's make it study timetable and read also get enough sleep so that you'll be able to focus that's the main goal then the last tip when you have studied and you achieved your goal reward yourself with something that you like you can reward yourself by watching movie <laughs> by watching netflix all day and uh, not all day just maybe for some few hours just to reward yourself because it's so good because you feel like achieving any goal you have because you always reward yourself i don't know how to explain this i'm just <laughs> i'm just so bad at explaining this okay anything you know what reward yourself means so just reward yourself so that's it for this video i hope you like it <laughs> I was really cringe and <laughs> I don't know but this video is kind of weird. I just decided to make this video because I'm a student and I would love to share my tips with you but I was inspired by five things you got to focus while studying. I think that's the title of the video. She, I've been using her tips for one year now and it really works. So head over to Ashani. She's great. I love her videos and that's it. <laughs> Buy me a coffee to support the channel. Um, like this video to help the algorithm and share it to anybody that might need it. Comment down below because I love to see your comments. And subscribe to stay cool. I love you guys so much. Peace out.